Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Star Wars, The Clone Wars, something heroes, night heroes, night general heroes, ah, I forget the name, It. we desperately need it on the menu. Uh, I looked here as we're in the middle of this level, and it says on the right of the main part, Vital Escort, Mace Window, and Kit Fisto, Fisto, uh, Fisto being a terrible name, uh, to pick, honestly, it sounds like a joke, and some of the names I know were actually jokes, uh, in the original naming of characters in, in Star Wars, uh, but they Escort Switch, which is a terrible name for a clone trooper, or at least he, I think he's a clone trooper, through enemies and hazards to reach the communication room. I wanted to read all of that out loud before we get back to this point because that is literally way more information than any of what this game has ever said aloud or uh, explained itself. Uh, um, we already, in the last recording, had had to protect Switch, the guy on the right, of uh, controlling the panels. Um, well, so I think I'm now supposed to double take this guy in charge. And probably come over here and see if I can blow up somebody. I've got the cheat now so I can place four bombs instead of three. I guess we're done. And so switch is now here. And I assume that means we're going to be attacked we go again. by more people. You're finished, Jedi. If I'm just dealing with droids, uh, it, with the exception of the gold ones, I can kind of slam half of these and then try and droid hack, which you never see in any of the stories anybody having the power to hack a droid. Uh, with perhaps the exception of Star Wars Rogue One. Yeah, we've got another one of these. Uh, there is a droid in Rogue One that's been reprogrammed, but there's like no way it's shown in the uh, in the actual movie. It's just he was reprogrammed before the story started. Um, I'm just ignoring these stronger people. Hmm. It's up to you. Now. That's weird that it jumped from the, doing that challenge to the, the cutscene for the next level. Used to look for minerals in the asteroid belt. Whoever boarded the station used them to search for an unusual energy frequency, and it looks like they found one. Where? On Ryloth, sir. So, we need to get the, the entire way. story of this and game is in a spaceship do, above the, the planet of Ryloth. Yes, uh, just a moment. I guess. I've almost got it. Hmm. This isn't good. Like, that's not a significant number of droids. Like, there's literally no number of droids you could put in in a scene that would make it feel like the Jedi are overpowered. At best, you would have to have the regular standard droids have a gun directly to the head of the two Jedi before I would believe that they 
could be disarmed. Since Master Windu and Master Fisto are in danger. I sense it too. We must hmm. hurry. Like, because remember, oh, these guys don't have their lightsabers. Wow, they're gonna really make me play without lightsabers. Uh, normally. Remember, a Jedi strength flows from the Force. Uh, normally, if they if the Jedi had lightsabers, they could block every bullet. We've totally seen that is the case. Apparently, that was the way that was supposed to happen. A Jedi in touch with the Force is never unarmed. Quite right, Master Plo. Mm. Although I would feel better with my lightsaber at hand. And this again asks the question: Why do these guys not? carry a blaster particularly with droids like maybe droids can use can use lightsabers maybe they can't but they don't seem to do too much of it hmm here's an interesting question what happens when I double jump jump all I can do is hit Y to destroy them. Interesting. And we've got another one of these already. I hope you're ready to be humble, Obi Wan. Ready when you are, Master Plo. Where are these guys gonna come from? They're taking their sweet time, considering I only have 30 seconds. So many of these challenges devolve into just doing a force push a fully charged force push which is annoying and kind of finger blistering for as much as I'm doing it now hmm. 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 at least there Remember there was a slide under the door that happened at the very beginning of the game? Provides opportunity. A Jedi must reach out to use them. I assume that's the only way you could have defeated those guys. Yeah, there was clearly at at the very beginning of the game. They, they tutorialized us and told us you could slide under things. Be ready for anything. That has disappeared. It's never been used again. It's never been mentioned again. Hmm. And apparently, I am not. I have you now. Also, apparently, I can't get that. I'm just gonna double jump on all of these and kill them rel relatively easily to save myself some frustration. There's very few, uh, very, very few, uh, artifacts or whatever to collect. I still cannot hit this. I cannot collect these things. I think it's time to play with the big head mode too. So let's come over to the shop and see if we can enable it. Since we've already purchased this. Four more artifacts to get the other thing. Big head mode enabled. Why in the world would you want to play as this? Your form is excellent, Master Kenobi. When there have been big head modes in games, it has always in my mind been for silly sports games. Things that that it didn't matter and uh, 
and you were gonna play a consistently large amount of gameplay and so anything that changes anything would would be appreciated uh, big head mode I believe was a NBA jam original idea uh, but it very possibly could have been introduced in any number of arcade or console games before then and while this game does have an unacceptably large amount of grinding in it this doesn't fix anything this feels silly and stupid and we're back into a vehicle section and apparently I just like it seems like you'd be able to shift but that's not happening so I think they noticed us I don't like you can kind of jump up on the side but that doesn't make sense you don't really have a hover I don't know if I just cleared an area or if I died and reset. Uh, like I just died and respawned really quickly it seems like. And there's nothing to shoot. And when I try to move over here it doesn't work. Hmm. This scene would have been fine by itself. It's just yet another slightly disappointing scene when added to the rest of this game. I admit, I'm a bit concerned hmm. by our present situation. <laughs> and like I was saying, there, there was really no reason for concern at all. Hmm. And this, they seem to have a penchant for blowing people out the window interesting a completely different panel and ca button to close the blast shield now than before sometimes his approach has its merits i like these little cutscenes they need to go on longer but in all honesty i think i'd prefer just to watch the clone wars cartoon series and but then this game's not good enough to really push me into the idea of doing that. Since this game is old, old enough at least, it should include the entire Clone Wars series on Steam. Many people probably don't even know this because it's it's really silly. Why would you own? Uh, own video content on Steam, it, unless I guess maybe you can't get it any in in your countries any other way. Um, but Steam does have a entire section of their their website dedicated to video. This would be the perfect tie-in. Uh, Seems like Anakin might be slightly stronger than uh, than some of the other Je Jedi, which canonically that would make sense. Time to make another mountain of scrap metal. I was going a different direction, unless I'm playing as a, I'm not playing as Anakin, which I am. So ah Ahsoka there, the computer pro pro player, just forced me to move forward, or perhaps the. Or perhaps he, the guy carrying the the bomb, moved the story forward. You can use the hmm. Um, who am I? Hmm. And we've got more clone troopers. Good job. 
I suppose you want me to thank you for saving me. We only saved you so my Padawan doesn't have to carry the crate. Hmm. So story of droids, any way you want. And he's just gonna continue to walk. Can I control these guys? I'd like to see if I could double jump on this guy. Apparently you can, but it doesn't work. They have a shield on them. Hmm. trying to make a nice combination of holding down X to dash towards things and holding down Y to slam things off the edges. Suppose if you just use the blasts all the time, you will, uh, you won't get much of a combo. But they have given me a ridiculously long amount of time in this challenge. Like, ten more seconds. Hundred and twenty seconds. Why did I need two whole minutes for that level for that challenge? Why would you give me that much time? Uh, but yeah, I was talking about how the clone you needed some troopers, clone trooper, to be like am I supposed to double jump there? I guess I was supposed to swing on the the handle. Thanks for showing me. Uh, and then you can use the force to pull it down. I wanted to use the force to pull it down in the first place. Yeah, episode 7 introduces Finn as your equivalent to a stormtrooper. Somebody who is not, to my knowledge, capable of using the force and wielding a lightsaber he's just the equivalent of what a droid a clone trooper would be right now uh, in the future but he's only one character thanks for the assist instead of the clone war series which happened before episode 7 where they they they've got at least 8 if not 12 different clone troopers all in only mildly different clothing. Roger, Roger. I will applaud the game for not saying Roger Roger the whole time. That was a major annoyance that happened in the Lego... Uh, the, the Lego Star Wars games. Um, that is the first time in all the hours of gameplay we've heard Roger Roger and I'm happy for that hmm. Hmm. slightly confusing why the droids speak in English at all to each other you'd think that they would have a binary beeps or something else like C-3PO They're not going to give up. Hmm. Hmm. 
It sure feels like I'm supposed to knock all these guys off the screen. Unless I'm supposed to be using these guys to maybe... Maybe I'm supposed to be using these guys to walk over here. To jump over there. No, I was supposed to kill him all so he could carry that. And then we're using a force elements. That's it. Good job. There'll be time hmm. for celebration later. The game wouldn't be as varied and it it would still suck, but I I heavily probably if I was in charge of producing this game, I would have made it all running around with no jumping from ledge to ledge. The no swinging on on Rex, poles. Ship. Get a move on. There, uh, seat. I would have tried to introduce a new planet that nobody had ever seen before. Introduce some plant life. Introduce some animal life. There's literally no plant life we've seen on this uh, entire Maybe game. Maybe you scared them off, Snips. Mm. Oh, yes. They're just terrified of your little sidekick. Mm. Maybe it's time someone taught you some manners. Quiet. I sense something. See, it's like she's about to turn Sith, too. Didn't expect this guy to come back. Forgive my surprise. I didn't think even you were foolish enough to steal from me. Pity you didn't go down with the ship, Tesca. Friend of yours? Competitor. For a common thief, you keep strange company, Bang. Bend over the crate. Hmm. It's not his to hand over. Hmm. You don't even know what it is, Jedi. I know I'm keeping it if it's that important to It must not like be a bomb or it must be too powerful of a bomb. Otherwise he should just say, sure, take it, and then just set it off. Master Plo? Friend of yours, don't worry, child. You'll soon be reunited with him in the force. So third boss fight, and now he's invisible. What are we going through for? Here. She just got killed. Alright, so he's gonna shoot. Uh, he's gonna shoot out missiles. And this has to be something you can do. Uh, like, with one player, so... I was a little afraid maybe you had to shoot back two missiles at the same time. Now would be a decent time, actually, to see if we can afford the cheat. By the way, do we have big head mode on, or does it just turn itself off? Uh, we don't have enough. I'll turn on extra damage and combo bar, and let's see. See if that works. Yeah, big head mode went off. So every level you have to turn the turn, choose to to re-enable these non-sticky cheats. And and I will certainly take combo bar and extra damage. It, it's not really doing any extra damage in this instance. Watch out, Sky Guy. Uh, what? Over for you, Jedi scum. Sir, never mind us, Rex. Get the Skakoan. Watch yourselves. He's a slippery one. We can take it. Like, if I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna have to. 
I'm gonna have to do stuff like that. And then... Like, bombs aren't hurting him, so... I assume I'm supposed to shoot him. And this is not the hover... hover group. This feels like this might be the final boss fight of the entire game. I'd be fine with that. Just end the whole thing. Uh, although, this doesn't bring in the two Jedi ladies, and this doesn't bring in uh, the Sith lady. Clearly there's some characters here that maybe got enough characterization in the Clone Wars cartoon, but they probably had a good point where they could have been added to Episode 7, or at least mentioned. Uh, when you look at uh, Darth Sidious as the bad guy uh, uh, in Episode 7, that could have clearly been several characters from the Clone War series, several characters who were just left over from other stories. Got it. Uh, there also was definitely hundreds and hundreds of Star Wars books that were canonical and then Disney said they were no longer ca canonical. Uh, that would have had decent stories to mine and make movies, side movies out of. And introduce you. characters master cat bane got away too master do you think that skakol and slime was telling hmm. the truth about master's plo and kenobi on the station i'm not sure i like these uh try juma 9 station fake again. see if you can get anyone cuss yes, master cuss words and insults are good and this looks like this Darrow's might be another from full from the cartoon Jim animation Hmm. Can anyone? Obi Wan, Master Kenobi, are hmm. you all right? I appreciate your concern, Padawan Tano. We've had a situation hmm. here, but everything is under control. General. Ah, uh, thank you, Cody. A wise Jedi once hmm. told me, "This weapon is your life." Thank you, Anakin. It's good to see you too. Two more signals, sir. Hmm. Mm. Skywalker, report you have. Yes. Yes, Master. Mm. We encountered a large Separatist force led by a Skakoan agent. He was after some kind of crate stolen by Cad Bane. I'm afraid the Skakoan escaped with it and Bane slipped away. If that mm. crate is the same one missing from the ship we discovered, it is extremely dangerous. Sirs, if I may. I too many people in this story. Way too many people. I'll need your remaining forces on the planet to keep the Republic occupied until I can retrieve it. Mm. Your weapon had better be worth it, Tesca. It will count. When the Nebo Sun reaches its zenith above the facility, the Gravitic Beam will tear it apart, along with the rest so of So, it's just a just Death Star type, Please excuse me. type weapon. Many paths this story has. This is way too complicated for a kid's game. The Naboo system is it's too complicated for a cartoon. Incoming transmission on the I... emergency code channel. Put it through. This is Senator Amidala. I've discovered a secret separatist base on Bapur. Boy, did spot. they animate There's her differently. It looks like they're... Uh-oh. I think I've been spotted. <sighs> Answered. The question is... She's in danger. Mm. We've got to do something. We will. We're going to destroy that facility. So that doesn't feel like the end of a game. Two minutes and 30 seconds to do that level. By the way. A planet in peril. Hmm. While investigating a threat to her homeworld of Naboo, Senator Amidala disappears after she it's discovers a separate It's way, space way too late system. to introduce her. The Jedi Council determines it is part of the same plot they've been unraveling in the Outer Rim. A terrible new gravity weapon with enough firepower to collapse a star with time running out 
Anakin Skywalker and Obi Wan hmm. Kenobi head for the clearly this is from the cartoon the like and and the doomsday weapon before it can be unleashed on an unsuspecting one would galaxy. assume that this might be season three of the Clone Wars cartoon that we're getting into now but that doesn't make a lot of sense either <laughs> yeah and I don't know if you would wait till season three to put uh Padme Amidala in the show. Okay, I honestly have no clue how you would how the Clone Wars show works now. It seems insane. Once you infiltrate the base, the same way this game feels quickly. insane. We can't have our She's forces bouncing out around Understood, all Mando. over the place. Disabling the shield is our primary mission. We've got more than enough men hmm. for the job. Sir, ready to begin the diversionary assault. Hit him hard, Rex. It's the only way I know how, General. May the Force be with us all. <laughs> We're going to have to make a lot of noise. Generals hmm. Kenobi and Skywalker have only one shot at getting in undetected. Oh, that's all right. Hmm. Loud bangs are my specialty. Let's go wake up some clankers. And we're still going to be fighting droids. Hmm. And we couldn't afford... We have three more artifacts for this. We need roughly 32,000 more to get the obliterate enemy targets in one hit. I guess every time I'm playing as a character, I probably should come back here and just at the beginning of every level enable this and enable this and then enable anything else that I care about. Um, this seems crazy. Seems really, really crazy. According to this, we've been playing for four hours and 30 minutes. I don't believe that's true at all. I think the clock is messed up. We have done 36 of 47 challenges, which leaves 11 to go, which if you put that down to about two per level, that means there's five more levels. Uh, there are 18 artifacts left to collect, but we've missed, I would say, about nine of them. And with there being about two artifacts in each level, that again implies about five levels. Uh, we still have yet to do any kind of feat. I would have thought maybe jumping down from the top and destroying all those droids that were standing in the lower platform might have been a feat. It's not happening. It would be kind of funny if maybe I can't get feats done because games for Windows Live doesn't work anymore. That's possible, uh, but who, who really cares? Like It's hard to care about anything in this game. Uh, Rex and Cody created the version to allow the Jedi to sneak into the facility. This I don't know why you tell a story like this. I, I literally don't know. Like, if you're going to do something like this, why ne why instead of making a Clone Wars cartoon, why not have a Clone Wars block where 30 minutes every day are Anakin and Ahsoka and 30 minutes are Obi-Wan and Plo and maybe you give another 30 minutes to uh, the other two female Jedi and then you spruce each of those shows with two clone troopers so enough that you can remember them and you have a lot of crossover events and why not tell separate stories at the same time maybe that is what they do uh, I don't know like, the way this game plays it though for a video game uh, a comparison might be the Resident in a game called Resident Evil 4, which is not for kids. Clearly, it's a horror first-person shooter. There's a point where you play the full game as one character, and then eventually, in the complete DLC edition, there's there's a way to play the game as a different character, and you see through this secondary character different events that were happening at the same time, and it adds a lot to the gameplay experience. 
if I was playing Resident Evil 4 and I was switching between those two characters back and forth like this, I'd just be confused. And I really am confused here, even though it's been downright stupid and simple storyline. There's no conversation happening. The writing is awful. Well, let's let's face it. The writing is non-existent in this game. Any line of dialogue here, I assume, is some line of dialogue or a slight alteration of some line of dialogue that happened in the Clone Wars cartoon. It's, it's really hard to find anything that's worth playing here. Maybe, maybe with the exception of Lego Star Wars, there are just aren't any good kid Star Wars games um, with the ceasing of Lego Infin Disney Infinity that there, there really isn't a modern Star Wars game I guess there, there might be another Lego Star Wars episode 7 and 8 that will come out but that's about all they can do which is weird because the star wars movies are half for kids and i guess it, there's also kind of a confusion now that disney owns uh star wars why is there not something like the clone wars coming out as a cartoon anyways we're already th five minutes past the recording time as always i ask you to like share subscribe Comment and watch every second of my video. If you want to friend or follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. If you want to support me, give me something on Steam. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.